Thank you so much for joining our Move In Shipping and Mail Services Overview. My name is Kyle Rice and I'm the Director of Operations for Housing and Residence Life at Tulane. Hi, my name is Jay Marlboro. I'm the Director of Mail Services and Logistics at Tulane. In today's video, we will be reviewing the Move In Timeline, what to bring and shipping information, how to find more information about your residence hall, and a move-in walkthrough. Here are some critical dates for this year's move-in process. Students were sent time slots in May and had until June 14th to select an alternative slot. In early July, students will be sent their room assignments via email and will be sent more information about shipping. We will cover more about this later, but our delivery window for packages to arrive on campus this year will be July 12th through July 28th. Our move-in dates for fall 2023 are August 13th through 15th for new first-year students and August 17th through 19th for returning students and transfer students. Let's talk a little bit about shipping and packages. First, we'd like to talk a little bit about what to ship to campus, what to bring with you, and what to buy after move-in day. Most things can be shipped to campus, like your bedding, your towel, and your clothes. Some things you will not want to ship to campus. These are things that you'll want to carry on your person while you're traveling, the clothes that you need, um, medications and toiletries that you'll need for your trip, and any valuables should not be shipped. Another important exception to shipping are liquids and gels, like laundry detergents or cleaning supplies. You should not plan to ship those items and instead plan to purchase them once you've arrived in New Orleans. Other things to consider buying after move-in day is any decor you would want after having seen your space in person. Again, most things can be shipped to campus. Um, and what you can't ship, you can probably purchase locally. By shipping things to campus, this will give you less items that you need to bring with you in person and less items that you'll need to move across campus on move-in day. Hi, I'm gonna talk now a little bit about shipping packages. So all students are gonna be sent a packet of information about shipping and the Ship to Room program uh, in early July. This packet will be sent uh, to each new student's permanent address on file and to all students new and returning will receive this via their Tulane email. If for some reason your physical packet is delayed in the mail, you can always print out the digital packet which will have the needed labels and uh, shipping information for you. So, Students should be planned to ship their packages to arrive here between or no earlier than July 12th and no later than July 28th. This is our shipping window so that these items will be stored uh, so that they can be delivered to your room prior to your arrival. Um, for this program, we are permitting six packages that will be delivered to your room free of charge. This will exclude any packages that are bought through the USS housing uh, dormify site. Those will not be counted as part of those six. Anything beyond that six, students will be charged an additional $10 to deliver those additional packages that will arrive during the shipping window. Okay, some information, uh, some more information about shipping packages. Um, Linen kits and other room decor purchased through University and Student Services uh, slash Dormify will not count towards part of those six boxes. Um, items from Dormify must be bought through the link on the USS website to be exempt from that box limit. Some other shipping restrictions. These items, if shipped, will be returned to the sender. Um, boxes should not weigh any more than 50 pounds. Boxes should be no larger than 20 by 20 by 20 or thereabouts. Understand 20 by 20 is not an exact dimension, but keep that in mind as far as when you're shipping things. Um, rugs should not be any larger than five by seven. 
Uh, TVs larger than 50 inches will not be accepted. Um, no appliances or other furniture weighing more than 50 pounds um, or, I, or any items that students are not permitted to have on campus will not be accepted. Um, we will have a discounted shipping uh, will be available through Tulane University shipping portal, which we'll talk about in a minute. Here we have provided some examples of shipping options. We try to provide a lot of different options for families, but we know that that can be confusing. So we've outlined some example scenarios for what students may choose to ship from home versus a vendor and what that might cost factoring in the six boxes delivered for free or the free boxes from Dormify through USS. So you can see how different scenarios might play out because it's possible to leverage shipping discounts and still have more packages delivered for less cost than just shipping from home. So if I'm student one, I have everything shipped to my home and then I repackage it for shipping and I pay shipping through FedEx. In this scenario, a student is still taking advantage of their six free delivery boxes, but the shipping costs could still be high depending on your shipping costs from your location. In our second scenario, student two is still shipping from home, but they're buying some things through USS and Dormify. So they have a total of nine packages coming, but because their USS packages are free for in-room delivery, they have shipped six boxes or less, so they have no in-room delivery costs and are only paying their shipping costs. So in this scenario, they have saved some costs on their total over student number one. In our last example, this student ships a few less boxes from home. They're also buying some things through USS and Dormify, and they're buying a few things from Amazon directly to campus. They have saved on their costs by leveraging free shipping from Amazon or other major real retailers. And while they paid $10 for every box over their first six boxes and their USS Dormify packages, this was still less expensive than shipping from home. So we hope this can clarify for you some of the ways that you could utilize your various shipping options to help you take advantage of leveraging shipping costs from vendors. An important note, if you ship directly from a retailer, please use regular mailed delivery methods. Do not use same day delivery type options. These delivery folks often do not know how to deliver to our on-campus mailroom and may leave your packages sitting outside of a residence hall in the elements. These halls are not staffed until fall and your package could be damaged or go missing should you use this type of shipping method. Some good tips for reducing your shipping costs are to consolidate items from home and use our two lane shipping portal, which we'll talk more about in a minute. Again, as Jay mentioned, this uses our two lane shipping discounts. So if you're using FedEx, it makes a lot of sense to utilize that portal to make sure you're getting the best price. Use the USS website to order from Dormify as all of these packages are free for in-room delivery. Consider using vendors with free shipping. We still encourage you to consolidate your packages from these vendors to keep your total box count down because packages over the first six boxes, excluding your Dormify packages, cost $10 to deliver to your room. One additional tip is if you use vendors like Amazon, you may wanna check that your packages are actually coming from the same vendor as Amazon sells items from many different vendors. So if you make several purchases, but they're from different vendors, those will likely all arrive in separate packages. Jay, would you like to talk about options for our local students? Yes, we, have, we, we realize that we have a lot of uh, students who either live locally in the city or in nearby areas uh, of the state or, or, or neighboring states and may wish to uh, arrange a drop off where they can bring their things here rather than pay the cost of shipping and so forth. And, and we do have that option for you. Uh, if you are interested in this, 
Um, you can email us at mailbox at tulane.edu. Uh, give us your name, a contact number. Somebody will then uh, contact you and um, to provide you with instructions and scheduling a drop-off. These are by appointment only. Um, they happen during that shipping window of the 12th through the 28th. And um, that's basically what you'll do. And you'll be able to drop off your items ahead of time. And those will be delivered, pre-delivered to your room at the appropriate time. These items should still be packaged with similar restrictions to your other shipping restrictions so that they can be loaded into your room. All right, I'd like to talk now a little bit about the Mail Services Tulane FedEx shipping portal. Uh, this portal will allow you to be able to ship your items from home uh, that you've packaged up and, and are all ready to go. Um, by utilizing this portal, we're leveraging uh, Tulane special FedEx rates, which can save you up to 20% off of the FedEx prices had you gone directly to FedEx to, um, to ship these yourself. Um, also, by using this portal, this ensures that Tulane Mail Services has total visibility of your shipments from creation to delivery. This is going to make it easier for our team to address any issues that might arise in, in the shipping process. Uh, mail Services will be able to take special care to ensure that items sent through the portal make it all the way through and to your dorm room, provided they arrive within that shipping window. So how the portal works? You'll access the portal here uh, through our Tulane website. Uh, you'll be you'll log in using your Tulane username and password. This would be the same username and password that you will use for your Tulane email account, for example. Uh, it will bring you into the site um, where you'll be prompted to enter shipping weight and box dimensions in the portal. It's very important to make sure that you get those weights and dimensions right because it, it is an important factor to the cost. Uh, and, and make sure your cost is accurate. Um, when using, um, once you entered that information in, it will ask you for the ship to address. The address is already locked in to the 61 Newcomb place, which is the student's mailing address. You will have to add, uh, make sure you add your name and your student mail code into the fields where it's asking for that. Um, it'll be able to give you some rate options uh, and then you'll be able to pay fees with a credit card and it will be able to, you'll print out the labels that will then get attached to your packages. And you can either make arrangements to drop those off at any FedEx authorized shipping location, or there is also an option uh, where you can request uh, FedEx ground to pick those up from your location. There, however, will be additional fees that will apply for the packages picked up. Uh, so once those are done, you should also make sure you include some of the identification labels that we've also sent in your packet which will have your mail code number and your name. Uh, these should be attached to the boxes as well because these basically are, are a big help as we receive all of these packages to easily identify them to you and make sure they're staged in the right place for ultimate delivery to your room. Just wanted to give you a little overview of kind of the package delivery process so you kind of know how the system, how it all works. Um, so once a package is shipped, of course, it will arrive at, a, at our New Orleans warehouse location. Um, package delivery confirmation will be emailed to the student from Mail Services. We'll basically send an email for every package, letting you know we've received it at the warehouse. It's being staged for delivery. Um, at the end of the, the shipping window, uh, USS and Housing and Residence Life will work to uh, deliver all of those packages to all the rooms. Once your package is are delivered to your room, you will get another email conf confirming that the boxes have been delivered to your room. There'll also be a photograph that will accompany that of the boxes. Also, please don't worry that the first email may not have all the boxes in your room. Just because of the nature of, of things, sometimes there are multiple trips have to be made to a room. So you may get multiple emails that add boxes as, as it goes along. Um, so please don't worry if you're tracking. Also, please don't worry if your tracking information might say that the package is being held or if the delivery location is St. Rose, Louisiana. This is a regular part of the process where some of the packages are rerouted uh, to this warehouse where they're being held 
and can be staged for the in-room delivery. Like I say, you will get an email from Tulane Mail Services letting you know we have your package and it's being staged. So now we're going to talk a little bit about your room information. New students will receive their housing assignments in early July. Returning students have already selected their housing assignment or were assigned and notified of their housing placement. Once students get their assignments, we encourage you to talk with your roommate about what you plan to bring to campus, what items you may or may not be willing to share, as this conversation can help you reduce duplicate items that you're bringing from home. Our room change process will happen three weeks after students arrive to campus. Um, so please note when you get your assignment that room changes are not possible prior to arrival. Once students get their assignments, it's natural for them to want to see what their room looks like. You can find information about what rooms look like on the Housing and Residence Life website. Each housing community page has a 360 degree photo of the most common room type in that hall. We can give you an idea of a possible setup and what it might look like. Those pages also include some sample dimensions for room and furniture. We often get requests to measure or photograph specific rooms. We completely understand your desire to plan your space, but we do not have the staff available to do this for every request. Please utilize the information provided on the website and also please note that the information on the website is general information for our most common room types. Each room will vary slightly from room to room. This is one example of the information you can find on those pages on the Housing and Residence Life website. Okay, let's talk about move-in. Again, here you can see our move-in dates. For students approved to move in early, they will have their move-in date adjusted and will receive confirmation in July. Specific check-in instructions will be sent to all early arrivals. Check-in instructions will vary depending on the date a student arrives, so it's very important that any students that are approved to arrive early read their Tulane email thoroughly for their specific instructions. Students approved for early arrival will not have time slots if they are not arriving within the dates listed on this slide. Students that arrive after the move-in window will check in with Housing and Residence Life at their office. All students must be checked in with a Housing and Residence Life staff member. Students should not attempt to gain access to their space via a roommate without checking in, regardless of when they arrive on campus. It is essential that all students be checked in and that we have record of them arriving to campus for the safety and security of all students. Please note that for our students that are approved for a very early arrival, you may, you may arrive to campus before some of your shipped packages. Please bring all items that you will need with you for the first few nights on campus. Most students will arrive to campus during their designated time slot. This doesn't mean that students only have 30 minutes to move in. This is the window of time in which we would like students to arrive on campus to check in. This allows us to space out our arrivals and reduce traffic congestion both on the streets around campus as well as on campus at the check-in tents, elevators, and other move-in locations. Students that experience travel delays should come to campus and check in when they arrive. Students arriving after the check-in operation has closed on their specific move-in day will be emailed instructions for how to check in after hours. You do not need to contact anyone if you are going to be delayed. Students had a two week window earlier in the summer to adjust their time slots. That window has now closed and these time slots are solidified. If you have an emergency, please contact Housing and Residence Life at housing at tulane.edu via email to see what time slots might be available. An important note is that we will not be adding more time slots to move-in days as these are based on our move-in capacity, but we can see if there are any alternative time slots available for emergency situations. 
Students will receive a check-in packet with a check-in pass in July via their housing portal. This will confirm your time slot, and there are pieces of this packet that should be printed prior to arrival, so all students should log in and read this thoroughly before traveling to campus. For students arriving during their time slot, they must check in via the centralized check-in process, which we will walk through in a minute. This is true for both brand new students as well as our returning students. You cannot bypass this step and gain access to your room at your residence hall. You will be redirected back to the check-in process. Our residence hall desk staff will not have students' room keys or be able to check them in outside of the standard check-in process on move-in days. Students will be checked in on Ben Weiner Drive using the check-in code in their move-in packet on their housing portal. Students may have guests and family accompany them to assist with their move-in. All guests must be escorted by their resident host while in a residential community. There is no limit to how long a guest can help student move in, but we do ask that guests and families remove their car from the parking structure and depart campus by 10 p.m. in order to help us prepare for the next day's arrivals. Once students are ready to check in at their time slot, you will approach campus via South Claiborne Avenue and enter the check-in queue on Benwiner Drive. This is right next to the Tulane football and baseball stadiums, so it's hard to miss. You will see a housing and residence life tent on Benwiner Drive and staff near the recreation center. Staff will scan your move-in pass and give students their check-in materials. This will include a student's splash card or campus ID card if they are a brand new student that submitted their photo to card services as directed earlier in the summer. They will also get their key if their building requires a physical key to enter their room. You will then proceed to park in the parking structure. Students will be able to check out a moving bin and proceed to move in any items from their vehicle. As you will see from the map, this is a centralized process. Everyone is parking in the same location and then moving through campus to their residence halls. This is another very good reason to use the in-room delivery program as much as you can. This is designed to make your move-in day as easy as possible. The hope is that this will prevent you from having to carry or wheel your items across campus on what will likely be a very hot day. We will of course provide move-in bins and other support for those days, but we do highly encourage ship to room. Students will not be able to check in before their time slot. This includes dropping things off the night before, wanting to pop in to see what a room looks like, or entering the check-in queue early. If your time slot has already passed, please join the queue as soon as you arrive. There will be support for students and guests that cannot walk to their residence halls. This is a map of the move-in process I just described. You will see Claiborne Avenue on the left. You will drive in on Ben Weiner Drive and you'll drive past the stadiums. You will check in near the Diebel parking structure, then you'll park. You will see that adjacent to that structure is where our welcome tent and move-in bins will be stationed. Here are some frequently asked questions about the pre-move-in and move-in process. So you may be wondering if Housing and Residence Life can tell you the exact color or style of the walls in your rooms. This is very similar to asking for measurements. We do not have the ability to give specific information about individual rooms, like wall color, brick color, or exact measurements. Please use the information that is available on our website. Okay, question is how how much do I really need to ship to campus before my students arrive? Do students usually ship more than six boxes? Well, the best strategy always is to ship what your student needs for their first few weeks of school. This includes clothing, dishes, sheets, towels, etc. Room decor and accessories can always be purchased after the fact, once the student's kind of seen their room, sees the measurements, and can really determine how they want to decorate in consultation with their roommate. Another question we're asked frequently is, once I've checked in, can I drive my car up to my student's building to unload? 
All students and families should plan to park in the Diebel parking structure for their move-in. This includes the evening after move-in day is included. There will be no parking available in other locations on campus. At many of our residence halls, there's not even parking near those facilities. It's just not the way our campus was designed. A great question is, will there be moving carts or volunteer at Diebel to move my students' items to the residence hall? Moving bins will be available for checkout near the Diebel parking structure on Brown Field when you arrive. We will also have some golf carts available to help move students and belongings through campus to their residence halls. Another frequently asked question is, do I need to purchase water service for my student? You do not need to purchase water service for your student. The tap water in New Orleans is safe to drink and water service is not required. However, if students want a supply of chilled water in their room or they need filter water, they can sign up directly with USS at UANDSS dot com slash Tulane. Um, so I guess a lot of people might be wondering, do I need my room assignment to be able to start sending my packages? No. Um, mail services will provide you that packet, which actually has your campus shipping and mailing address, which is separate from your room number. Um, so all you need is to put that mailing address on anything you're mailing. And then once it's received, we'll correspondingly tag it with your room number and so forth. Another question about the move-in day is, if I'm not able to physically lift items and carry them to my student's room, will there be help? There will be staff available in the residence halls to assist you and your students with their items if they cannot carry items on their own. However, please note that our student staff that are available to help are not professional movers, and they're there to assist as folks have mobility issues. This is another great reason for students living in halls, especially those without elevators, to use our ship to room program so the items will be preloaded into your room. Residence halls without elevators include Josephine Louise, Warren Hall, the Aaron Apartments, and the Dekulabot townhomes. Okay, so question, if I live locally, can I drop off items for room delivery? Yes, you can schedule an appointment to drop off your packaged belongings by emailing mailbox at tulane.edu. Uh, we will be accepting these drop-offs during the shipping window, and it will be by appointment only. Someone will contact you from our office to set that up and give you complete instructions on where and how to drop those items off. So another good question, what if my package arrived after the shipping window? This, of course, happens sometimes based on back orders and so forth. But any item that comes after that window will be held safely and securely at mail services or placed in a special package pickup location. Students will be emailed uh, for every package and with instructions on how and where to pick those up. Mail services will be open extended hours each day of move-in. Thank you so much for joining this video about the move-in and shipping process. If you have any questions at all, please contact Housing and Residence Life at housing at tulane.edu or for shipping and mail at mailbox at tulane.edu. Thank you and we can't wait to welcome you to campus this fall.